virus. In most people, the left hemisphere is dominant for language, which is why Broca's area is found there. In some people, like left-handers, Broca's area and other language-related regions, they can be in the right hemisphere or distributed between both hemispheres, but this is less common. Wernicke's area, similar to Broca's area, is also typically located in the left hemisphere of the brain. It is found in the posterior part of the temporal lobe, in the region known as the superior temporal gyrus. Wernicke's area is crucial for language comprehension. That is, it allows understanding both spoken and written language. When you communicate, when you say hello, it is your left hemisphere that is working, turning thoughts into articulated words. On the contrary, the right hemisphere, though equally important, does not have access to this language center. It is mute, unable to express itself verbally, although it remains extremely active in other aspects of cognition and perception. There are people who suffer damage to one of these areas from brain trauma, bleeding or ischemia, which completely alters the way they understand language or communicate. For example, Broca's and Wernicke's aphasias are language disorders caused by damage to specific areas of the brain. Broca's aphasia occurs when the Broca area, located in the left frontal lobe, is damaged. People with this condition have difficulty speaking fluently. Their speech is slow and fragmented, although they usually understand well what is said to them. For example, they might say, I, house, rest, instead of I am going to rest at home. They may also have problems writing coherently. In summary, Broca's aphasia affects the ability to speak fluently but preserves comprehension, while Wernicke's aphasia affects language comprehension, making speech, although fluent, incoherent. Going back to the topic, in a brain that has not undergone any alterations, such as a surgical division, this difference in linguistic abilities does not usually pose a problem. Both hemispheres are connected by a thick bundle of nerve fibers known as the corpus callosum. That acts as a constant communication highway between them. 